I don't want to tell you what I got up to, but, um, you know, let's say the boys in blue definitely caught up with me on, on quite a few occasions um, <laughs> in, in a couple of different countries as well. The introduction to graffiti would have been skateboarding for me. I view skateboarding as similar to graffiti that there is this almost search and destroy attitude that you're actually looking for locations and trying to reinvent them, you would find a set of stairs or some type of bench or, or thing that wasn't designed or intended for you to skate on. And, and the same with graffiti, that you're trying to find locations to make your mark. Looking at your environment differently and placing your work in contact with the surrounding. And I always like that element of, of doing um, street art. Technically I started off doing graffiti first based on letter forms. The first marks are done illegally. They're usually in these back alleys basically writing your name on the wall. It was fun, it was rebellious. I, I felt very much alive but I always enjoyed painting say characters or figures more than painting letters and this medium spray paint which is actually quite difficult to use because you're not having any physical contact with the wall. You start learning your the capability of your body, your arms to work in these fluid forms. My style is known for a lot of fluid lines um, and uh, rounded edges. People were attracted to it and actually started contacting me, you know, started to be invited to uh, countries to paint these uh, murals and that's when I really started paying attention with what I, I was doing on these walls and I would actually research the city. What I do, I provide uh, an opportunity for people to actually look at things differently. When I look at what you did in Jacksonville or Kiev or Buenos Aires, you feel the culture is somehow reflected there. They're different. You've worked in Portland. Tell me about the culture in Portland. I really enjoy being um, in forests. I was uh, fortunate enough to have that opportunity in Portland. I picked out elements that I actually saw in Portland. The beautiful, um, like the foliage and the colors, these like uh, autumn browns and oranges and these fire reds. And I painted like an eye with uh, water like crying out of it that was coming on the on the tree stump like um you know i was trying to bring life back to this like cut tree basically i use the eye a lot and i guess that would be referencing to the third eye all artwork there is a narrative behind it we are viewed as somewhat storytellers i use symbolism in my work it opens up to for interpretation definitely explore themes you know, some type of spiritual elements uh, behind my work. And I think that has definitely come through uh, a lot of inspiration with um, ancient cultures. There, your work touches in ways that you can't always put words to. Sometimes it is hard to describe what you do because it just comes out of you sometimes. Whenever I have conversations, I'm actually learning about my work as, as you are at the same time. If you can talk a little bit about cannabis and the influence it's had in your life. I definitely uh, partake in, in smoking cannabis. It, it calms my thoughts that it actually helps me focus with the actual process of, say, the creation. It makes it more enjoyable, just immersing myself in my artwork. But I view my process of painting quite uh, meditative or therapeutic in general. Cannabis enhances this element. I always find it's a lot more of an enjoyable result because of that. I, I am my work, and if I'm happy, then I'm going to be producing better work.